Homo luminous is on. And this is not only ascension archetypes. Yes, we are all shifting. And I'm talking a lot about Homo luminous, but it really feels since this portal has opened into our heart awakening and heart consciousness, the Homo luminous becomes even stronger. So I don't know about you, but for me, physically, emotionally, mentally, because I do have a mind too, it feels like something is really, really shifting. And what does it mean? I feel we are more looking for new answers. I'm feeling like the sense of the heart and its role in our evolution and in this evolutionary leap that we are all taking, no matter what we're doing, as well as that sense of Something is just not what it was anymore. It seems like even things are falling apart. The other day we were walking just up from our little house. And of course there was a little cocoon. And what came out was of course a little being. And it was interesting because it was not just that this larva or whatever we call it came out and straight out, no. It, it, it was moving. It went out a bit, then it went back in, it went out, it went back in. And of course, my favorite metamorphosis is the dragonfly. And if, if you're looking at the dragonfly, when it comes out of the nymph, it is not something that just happens immediately. It is a, I don't want to call it struggle because it's not a struggle, but it is a journey of in and out and in and out and this is where we are and this is this homo luminous that we're starting to embrace yes we still need to do something for our vitality i feel it's more important than ever that we eat vital and vital means as much organic and, and the life and, and all these things and non-processed and all of that I feel the body wants more movement. I feel 20 minutes on the yoga mat is not enough, which is very interesting. Breathing is absolutely a must. But in all of that, and of course meditation, in all of that, I feel the shift is actually happening. So you are not alone on this journey to Homo Luminous. And yes, it has to do with heart awakening. And there's a lot of different signs. It's not really symptoms. It's signs that are coming to us. And it's for us to decipher. They come in very different ways. But I promise all of you will find different ways of looking at things. This is part of Homo Luminous. You're noticing the mind has its limitation. And what comes to us is not just what it seems to be, the logical, the rational. What it comes to us has a much deeper significance. So it's not about, a friend called me the other day asking me what's more important, higher consciousness or wider consciousness. And of course, my answer is heart consciousness. Yes, it is a higher consciousness and it's a wider consciousness, but it is from the heart. So just stay alert, stay curious, regardless of what is happening on the outside. The signs that come to you are meaningful. Trust. And if you're not trusting, then talk to a guide. Find out where this can take you. Connect to the stars as we're going into the new moon tomorrow. All is, in, all is in Aquarius, the sun and the moon. And the most significant other planet is really Uranus. And Heather Ainsworth, one of the astrologers I obviously like a lot, she did even a meditation on that. So, yes, I feel we're all shifting into Homo Luminous. But the more conscious we are, the more we are allowing the rhythms, the easier it gets. We can't fight where the stars are at. We can't fight 
the evolution on the earth and we can't fight our own shift from homo sapiens to homo lumens. But we are in this together. Thank you for listening today and much love from my heart to yours.